Hello everyone. Let's provide um, the solution to this problem. Square root of x plus 2x equals 1. Okay, so what could be the value or the values of x? The first thing we do is to make square root of x the subject. So we have square root of x which will be equal to 1 minus 2x. Then from here, the next thing on our mind is to remove this square root from here. And we can do that by squaring it. This will be equal to 1 minus 2x. And the whole of this will be squared together. Now this and this can cancel so that x will be equal to 1 minus 2x in two places. 1 minus 2x. Okay, close this. Now let's multiply. x here will be equal to 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times minus 2x is minus 2x. Then minus 2x times 1 will give us minus 2x. And minus 2x times minus 2x will give us plus 4x squared, right? Okay, so from here, we can proceed. x will be equal to 1 minus 4x, then plus 4x. Okay, this is 4x squared. Remember that we cannot add this and this because they are not the same thing, right? Now, do you know that this is the same thing as 4x squared? This is minus 4x. This is, um, okay, I'll bring this x to this and it becomes minus x. And this plus 1 will appear. And this is equal to 0. Okay, so 4x squared minus 5x plus 1 is now equal to zero okay now we can solve this as a quadratic equation okay so the next question is what method do we use to solve this quadratic equation and i think we can use factorization method because from here now to factorize this you will first of all multiply four by one and that will give us four this 4 is imaginary. I call it imaginary because we are not going to use it. It will not appear in this equation, right? So we have 4. Now the next question will be, what are the two numbers you multiply to have 4? And then you will um, put the two of them together to get minus 5. The two numbers will be 4 and um, 1, right? But 4 times 1 will give us 4. But 4 plus 1 will not give us minus 5. That means we must have the numbers in negative. So that minus 4 plus minus 4, okay, minus 4 plus minus 1 will give us minus 5. And minus 4 times minus 1 will give us plus f um, 4, right? Okay, so that's what we have. So the next thing is to replace, to put this into the equation. We have 4x squared. In place of minus 5x, now I will have minus 4x minus 1x, then plus 1 equals 0. Remember, this is not part of the work, right? Okay, so from here, we will group into 2 and factorize. What is common to these two? 4 is common. x is here and it's also there. Bring it out. Here, 1x will be left minus 4x divided by 4x will give 1. Okay, then what is common to this? Nothing. So we pick the coefficient of x, and that will be minus 1. Then open your bracket. Here, x will be there. Then 1 divided by minus 1 will give us minus 1 as well. So this will be equal to 0. And every time you solve a quadratic equation, you know, by factorizing, you must have the same thing. There must be common factor or else you are not correct. So now let's pick out the common factor, which is x minus 1. Okay. 
and then here we have 4x left and here we have minus 1 right so the whole of this equals 0 now we apply our zero product rule that says it is either x minus 1 is equal to 0 or 4x minus um, 1 is equal to 0 x here is equal to 0 plus 1 or on this side 4x is equal to okay 0 plus um, 1 as well right okay so x is equal to 1 here or on this side 4x is equal to 1 x remains 1 or from here we can divide by 4 divide by 4 right so that x here remains 1 or on this side this can cancel x here is now 1 over 4 let's bring the two solutions together therefore x is equal to 1 or 1 over 4 but I'm trying to think if both of them will satisfy the original equation. The original equation is square root of x plus 2x equals 1. And the first solution says that x is 1, right? That means we have square root of 1 plus 2 times 1. And obviously, this is not giving us 1. Because square root of 1 is 1 plus square root of um, 2, sorry, 2 times 1 is 2. And this is giving us 3 instead of 1. Okay, so this is, a, this is to confirm that our x to be equal to 1 does not satisfy the equation. Okay, now let's go straight to the second solution where we have x to be equal to 1 over 4. So in place of x, I write 1 over 4, then plus 2, in place of x again, I write 1 over 4. Now, will this give us 1? What is square root of 1 over 4? 1 over 2. Then plus... Now, do you know that 2 can come here and we shall have 1 over 2? Okay, if that is the case, the LCM is going to be 2. Then 1 plus 1 will give us 2 as well. And if you divide this, you will have 1. And remember, it is 1 that we had on the right-hand side of the equation. So this is the confirmation that x is equal to 1 over 4, and it truly confirms or satisfies the equation. Thank you for watching.